Hello, fellow entrepreneurs, and welcome to my channel where we talk about all things Kajabi, marketing, and growing your online business. My name is Rebecca Austin, and today's video is for you if you've been struggling to connect with your audience or you're feeling like your marketing efforts just aren't hitting the mark. Today, we're diving into one of the most important topics for any online business owner, especially if you want to grow your lead list and increase your conversions, and that is identifying and refining your ideal customer. Now, you may have heard this referred to as defining your avatar, but just writing down a few characteristics and slapping a fictitious name on this imaginary customer isn't going to cut it. To truly get clarity on your perfect client in a way that impacts your results, you first need to understand why so many marketing gurus are encouraging you to create an avatar. Imagine trying to sell a winter coat in the middle of the desert. It just wouldn't make sense, right? That's what happens sometimes when you're marketing to the wrong audience. But that's not all. Maybe you've already experienced the frustration and of spending hours of time and precious business capital on crafting and launching ad campaigns that fall short. You know your program is amazing, but you just can't seem to figure out why your ads didn't perform and no one bought. Well, here's the deal. When you know exactly who your ideal customer is, your marketing messaging becomes much more specific and targeted. Therefore, your message resonates and engages with those who can benefit the most from your program. As a result, your lead list grows and your conversion rates skyrocket. Oftentimes when I'm working with a new client, I'll ask them about their perfect clients. The most common response I get is, well, anyone. But when we market to everyone, we can't fully connect with anyone. That's not saying you can't still sell to anyone, but in order to truly grow your business, you need to niche down to get specific with who you serve and how you help them. For example, let's go back to the winter coat example we mentioned earlier. Instead of trying to sell winter coats to everyone and anyone, how much different would your marketing look like if you focused your messaging and marketing on selling primarily to big and tall men, or maybe pregnant women, or even to working professionals who want stylish yet warm and durable, or adventurers who need practicality and versatility? Each demographic that we just mentioned has a much different set of values, needs, and desires and therefore, the messaging would be vastly different depending on which niche audience you want to focus on. So to get you started, let's just take a quick look at the key areas you need to focus on when defining your ideal customer. Number one is demographics. This is the basic stuff. So this will be general age, gender, location, income level. It helps you narrow down who you're speaking to, but it's just a starting point. The number two is psychographics. Now we go deeper. What are their interests, their values, and lifestyle choices? What makes them tick? What is what they want? This is where you start to connect with your audience on a personal level. And last but not least is number three which is, in my opinion, the most important defining characteristic of your avatar, and that is defining his or her pain points and desires. What problems, pains, frustrations, or issues are they experiencing that you can help them solve? What are some of the biggest mistakes that they're making? What beliefs do they have about their situation that isn't serving them? When you understand these, you can craft messages that offer not only get their attention, but truly resonate. Now, I've just scratched the surface here, and this is a topic I could talk about for hours. For now, though, I'll leave it at that to help you get started. 
If you would like to dive deeper and really get the most out of this process, I and my team have created a Grow Your List newsletter series where we cover this topic and others in much more detail to help you attract more leads and turn them into raving customers. So click on the link with the description in this video or visit my website at striveforsavvy.com and we'll send you key strategies conveniently to your inbox each week. We'll send you actionable insights, downloadable resources, and everything you need to start growing your email list with confidence. Next week in our Grow Your List series, we're going to talk about one of my absolute favorite topics related to online marketing, and that is how to create irresistible lead magnets so you not only know what to give away for free, but how to maximize your lead generation tools for maximum impact. I know you don't want to miss this one. So if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. And remember, knowledge is power, but knowledge without action is like buying seeds for your garden and then leaving the seed packet in a drawer. You can't watch the seeds turn into beautiful flowers or fruit if you don't plant them first. So what action will you take and what did you learn most from this video? Let me know in the comments who your ideal client is. And if you need help with your Kajabi program or maybe growing your online business, visit my website at striveforsavvy.com and let's connect. Bye for now and keep up the great work. Your audience needs you.